Hey folks, Joseph Sabora here, and I decided to do a review of a Charlie Brown special that came out on February 25th, 1980, since we're still in the winter season, and already um, networks are playing some figure skating programs. Um, I'm going to review She's a Good Skate Charlie Brown. It's about Pepper and Patty, who's practicing figure skating with his coach, Snoopy, for the figure skating competition, which of course is based on the Peanuts comic strips, which surprisingly enough, some of the strips that they use uh, in the special were not included, but so they had to do some alternations from what I heard, because this was actually done in 1974. It was also one of the first specials to use adult voices that's heard in the background because usually they just do those those wah 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 sound effects and this wasn't the only special to do that because they later used that in the movie Bombay Oz Charlie Brown Don't Come Back which also came out the same year too it stars Patricia Patz as Pepper and Patty Aaron Skelly as Charlie Brown and the hockey player captain Daniel Anderson as Lines Van Pelt, Laura Plantin as Lucy Van Pelt, Casey Carlson as Marcy, Jean Powell as the teacher, Bill Melendez as Snoopy, Scott Beach as the announcer for the competition of figure skating, and Jason Victor Sonias as Woodstock, who does the whistling. Written by Charles M. Schultz and is directed by Phil Roman. The special begins set somewhere in an ice rink. Pepper and Patty is practicing figure skating with her coach Snoopy, basically dressed up as Carlo Fossey, you know, a real life coach, for an upcoming figure skating competition. So during those days, she's been practicing by getting up at 4:30 in the morning which means that she constantly falls asleep in class. But of course, one of her practices had been halted by a team of hockey players who were so rude that they wanted to take over their spot. So Pepper and Patty and Snoopy had took care of the situation by pushing them out of the rink. And I know Snoopy was clearing them out by using one of those uh, <laughs> long mats. So they've been practicing all day and all afternoon until later on you know, Marcy winds up um, inviting Pepper and Patty over for hot cocoa and cookies at her house. She began to notice that Marcy has a sewing machine which is her mother's and Patty decided that she wanted Marcy to sew her new um, skating dress only problem is, she doesn't know how to do it. So anyway, they wind up going to the fabric store just to buy some fabrics just so they can create a jean dress for Pepper and Patty. But that didn't seem to work out since Patty wasn't listening to her. And already, you know, since this was her idea, the whole dress is messed up. So that didn't work out. So as a result, uh, Snoopy came over to fix the dress, and it worked out perfectly. But unfortunately, she wanted to replace her mousy blah hair w with a wig, <laughs> which makes her look almost like uh, little orphan Annie right there. Patty winds up dumping the wig on Snoopy's head, and as the day of the, of the competition arrives, all the contestants are first practicing all together which they're all clear while Simboni, you know, driven by Snoopy, wants up clearing the ice. The first two contestants that they had, they all fell miserably because they started falling and, and got rather low scores. But the first contestant, however, you know, skated beautifully and wants up getting such a great score. But that is until Pepper and Patty have finally arrived you know, trying to skate uh, really well after practicing for so long. Only problem is, 
the music that they chose, which was called Omiya Baba no Kuro, which was played on a cassette, got damaged. So now, feeling so nervous that uh, Woodstock finally helped in to whistle the tune and she continued skating. And finally, she won the competition. <laughs> Which, uh, of course, you know, Snoopy, as the coach again, just starts grumbling around and, you know, trying to find everything nice to say. And, and of course, she kisses him on the cheek while Woodstock is just whistling to the tune again. And there you go. That's the special. She's a good skate, Charlie Brown. And I really enjoyed it. I mean, it was basically one of the rarest uh, specials that they ever had. That's based on the comic uh, from 1974. And it's interesting because I remember watching this uh, when I rented this on VHS at the library. Yeah, because, you know, I started renting a lot of Charlie Brown specials. But it's great that I got this on the holiday collection, so now I get to watch it any time. I know they played this on ABC you know, after the Happy New Year Charlie Brown special. A lot of funny moments there, mostly where Pepper and Patty was trying on the dress, which turned out to be a disaster. It just, <laughs> just so it was like, like it was just a cover instead of the whole entire dress. Yeah, and then, and also, I love the music that they chose, you know, for the skating tune, just so that way uh, they'd be able to. Um, show all of Pepper and Patty using all these skills which they did and it's interesting for the for this uh, special because Charles M. Schultz did use his daughter to uh, choreograph all the uh, the fi figure skating moves that they used for the special but it was quite accurate for its time I mean they started using the all the composery figures that Patty was using um, try to make it look more realistic in that sort of way, you know, by showing all the jumps, the spins, everything that they put into it. It just seems so magical. So it's really cool. And and by the way, um, his daughter was named uh, Amy Schultz. They also had uh, Mary Ellen Kinsey and Karen Hutton to do some choreograph on the those skating moves. And I always love uh, Woodstock's whistling too, even though you know Ben Melendez didn't do his voice this time. So that's interesting. I thought it worked. But I always love the scene, as I mentioned, where, <laughs> where both uh, Patty and, and Snoopy had, <laughs> had pushed those uh, rude hockey players around and just to finally clear their mouth so they're all knocked out and conscious. Nevertheless, Pepper and Patty is indeed a good skater. <laughs> so anyway, I give the special four stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.